Hello everybody and welcome to my STEMtastic video um, on how to make some lemonade. Um, I hope you're excited for this as much as, as I am. Um, I'm a student at Abbey Gate Sixth Form and I study maths, chemistry and psychology and I really am excited about STEM and I want all of you guys to be. Okay, so for this experiment you will need, so you'll need some um, bicarbonate soda, um, a teaspoon of this. You will also need some sugar. I suggest asking your parents how much you're allowed. There's no sort of set amount, just because this is just to make it a little bit sweeter, so it's nicer to drink, but ask your parents for sure. You then also need some lemons um, to juice for the lemonade, as you can't make lemonade without lemons. And then you also need some water. Um, mine's in a jug, just because I'm fussy and I like cold water, but you can get it from the tap or Evian if you're really fancy. So first of all you want to squeeze the lemons into a glass um, like this. I basically decided to not shoot this bit to speed up for time purposes because I don't want to spend too long wasting your time showing me squeezing some lemons. Um, I used a couple of lemons though. Um, you might want to do this just to get quite a lot of juice out of it. Um, depends how strong or weak you want it to be honest. Then I poured out an equal volume of water as lemon juice. Um, you can do this roughly, but I just decided to pour, pour out equal. You want to make sure that they're nearly equal because you don't want this to be too dilute. Okay, so then you want, after you've measured out a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, you want to um, pour it in and then stir. And then this is where the ma magic happens. So then it will start to fizz, which is really, really cool. And I'll explain why it does that later. And then after it's fizzed, you want to start to stir it. And it might bubble over onto your worktop, but that's fine. It's, that's, that's part of the magic, to be honest. Um, this is what makes it um, a home lemonade. It's, it's authentic. It's not like the Sprite you get out of the can. <laughs> it's probably really bad for their business, oops. <laughs> um, so yeah, just wait for it to stop bubbling. Um, and then give it a little bit of a stir. Okay, so I'm just going to break up those bubbles. And then I'm just going to start stirring. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> so some people um, say not to um, eat your science, or eat or drink your science experiments, but this one's perfectly safe, don't worry. Um, citric acid is very weak acid and you get it in, um, it occurs naturally, so it's fine. So um, now I'm just gonna try it. Um, it's obviously gonna be very bitter, so then I can gauge um, gauge how much sugar I need. Um, and the bubbles have subsided, so it should be good, so. Yeah, it's very bitter, so I'm gonna need quite a bit of sugar um, for that. Um, just to make it um, a bit taste a bit better. And then I'll scrape from the arteries. And... Okay, so I'm just going to stir it in just because we don't want loads of sugar granules in because that won't taste very nice. And there you have it. This is your own homemade lemonade. Um, you should feel very proud of yourself. Um, it tastes actually quite nice um, once you have a little bit of sugar in it. Um, I quite enjoy it. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent change, but um, we'll just have to see. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and please, um, please let me know some feedback. And in a minute, I'm going to explain how the science of it works. So I hope you enjoyed. Okay, so now we're going to have a little look at the science of the experiments. So it's um, in lemons and oranges and limes and various other fruits, but we use lemon for this. So there is a acid called citric acid and this is basically what is in the lemon juice and this reacts with the bicarbonate soda, soda and when it reacts it forms carbon dioxide bubbles and these bubbles are what makes the drink fizzy and this is how we get our fizzy drink. Now for those wanting to take the experiment further we can write a symbol equation so this is citric acid and this reacts with bicarbonate of soda, which is also known as sodium hydrogen carbonate. And then it forms some sodium ions. 
it also forms a citric acid ion and then it forms water and carbon dioxide as products. We can also take um, this experiment, the science behind it further by looking at why we can drink citric acid. So citric acid looks something like this and this is taking it quite a bit set further. So it's what we call a tricarboxylic acid as there are three carboxylic acid groups and a carboxylic acid group has a C an O, an O and a H. Now, um, please don't worry if this is confusing because this is not something that we cover till very later. So this is mainly for older brothers and sisters right here. So basically, carboxylic acids are known as very weak acids because they don't fully dissociate. Now this basically means that they don't fully split up into all of the hydrogen ions. So um, basically, the carboxyl groups, they will all lose a hydrogen ion to form a carboxylate ion, which is this one here, and a hydrogen ion. So these groups, they'll all do it. But we're still left with these, hydro these hydrogens, and these all stay put. So these do not dissociate. And because it doesn't fully dissociate, this means it's a weak acid. And as a result, we can drink it because it's not going to harm us. Okay, sorry um, for the various cuts. My phone is so low on storage, so the explanation might be a bit disjointed, and I do apologise for that, but I didn't want to reshoot all of the explanation and redraw everything out, because um, um, it's into the evening. So anyway, um, I'm just going to conclude on why I'm so passionate about STEM. So I love STEM because of all of the real-world applications to it. We learn all of this complex science and we get to apply it into everyday life in industry, medicine, and it's just so fascinating to see how much of our everyday life is science. And you learn all of these applications and it's just amazing. And the teachers, they're so passionate. I study maths, chemistry, psychology, and they all, they all love their subjects. And that really, they really convey their passion to us. And it makes it a subject that I thoroughly enjoy and I honestly can't imagine not doing STEM because it's just got all of this interest and I highly encourage all of you to get involved with STEM because it is honestly amazing and it's an amazing thing to do and you, you can just do so much with it and there's so many applications and it's so fun and rewarding at the same time so I, I really want you to all get involved in STEM week and just have a little bit of fun and it's just it's just a lovely way to do stuff together.